What's up guys, Turvox here. We're going to take a quick look at Minecraft, adding Prisma visuals along with Reels and Craft, along with a couple of other of my personal favorite add-on packs that I've been using for a little while now. These are all from the marketplace, you're going to have to buy them, except for one. We're going to take a quick look at Dynamic Third Person. I know some of y'all are curious how you get it working. In my Discord, I'm going to include the download links to the version of dynamic third person that I had working before the update. Now, since the update, I'm not able to get it working. I'm sure there's gonna need to be an update. I will keep an eye out for it, but that's the best I can do. But before we get to the video, I wanna just take a really quick second. If you don't mind, I wanna say thank you to the engineer. He was a recent subscriber about two or three days ago. You're the best man. You make it worth it. And then I want to take another quick second. I want to say, take a look at the Discord, if you don't mind. I've got a whole bunch of guides coming out. I've got a whole bunch of stuff talking about the future, uh, some of my gear that I've collected over the years. Um, and then for those of you who support, you'll get access to some of the stuff that have really helped me grow as a YouTuber, as a streamer, as a content creator. And you also get a chance to do some personal Q&A with me. You can access all of that through the buy me a coffee link in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's get to the video. Video. So first off, I have Prisma as a global resource packs. It just makes it a little bit easier going through and making these videos and worlds. It's already there. You can edit it in the global resource pack so we can move on from there. Now for the world, we're going to go to realism craft for this example. And we're going to go to the resource pack. We're going to remove texture and animations. We're going to remove it because the textures and animations in Realism Craft are going to conflict with Prisma. Now to add the add-ons, so I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to add my favorites, redstone, no more grind, furniture, aqua, uh, spawners, villagers, epic helpers, soundscapes, advanced, and that's about it for that one. I'll also take a quick second and I'll add dynamic third person. As far as the load odor goes, um, I typically stick the bigger load, the bigger add-ons at the bottom. So like furniture add-on, aquaculture, and um, you could do a couple of others. Uh, but really play around with it. There's, I have not encountered any issues, um, but if you need a more in-depth guide of how I do my load orders, then I will be happy to provide you that. Now for dynamic third person and the behaviors pack, dy the dynamic third person, it's add-on itself is gonna go towards the bottom. Cami script's gonna go towards the top. Dynamic third person again at the bottom. Now in order to use and utilize dynamic third person, you're going to need cheats on. For the seed, um, a really cool seed that I came across, I'm going to show you. Like I said, this is my personal favorite add-on pack. If you don't mind, comment down below. What is your favorite add-on pack so far? Are there any you would like me to take a look at and maybe give you a review of? All right, here we are. We spawn into the world. First, I'm going to show you the dynamic third person commands. First, it's going to be function toggle underscore cam. That's the first one. If it was working, you would see a little um, mirror of that command up here. The second one is going to be config now it shows up here but that does not mean it's working now for this seed you can end the video here that's pretty much everything you have reels and craft you have all these add-ons in here you're good to go but if you want to stick around and see what's so special about this world i will show you now game mode c so we're in creative We've got one. One village. One obsidian gate over here. 
believe there was a redstone thing nearby. Usually it spawns in the other mountain. We got another village right here. And then on the direct opposite side, we got another village right there. So you got three villages plus a zombie village. And then you've got two gates. You've got that gate and you've got another gate over here. You got another big gate over here. Beautiful world, lot going on, deep caverns. Just to show you real quick, here's some diamonds. It's nice that they glow now. It's such a nice feature. So yeah, that's the whole video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Um, you can count on a video being released every Wednesday and every Friday. I know this last week was a little um, off. I wasn't able to get a video off by Friday. But I mean, you got to forgive me. I'm a full-time college student. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.